Hello everyone. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all having a blessed day on today. Today I decided to share with you all how I prepare pinto beans. Here are our ingredients. I have some pinto beans, the dried ones. And I have some ham hocks and some onions and bell peppers. Y'all, this is so simple to make, and I hope y'all enjoy hey, this. This is how recipe. I remember my mother doing it back in the day. She used to sort out the beans. This is how she did it. Okay, she would go through all the beans. Let me show y'all. She'll go through all of them and check them out. See, like this one. You know, some people keep those. I'm going to go ahead and keep them. What she was looking for was some rocks. Sometimes it'd be some little dirt rocks in there. That's what she told me she was looking for. So this is what you do. Okay. You all I decided to bring y'all to the the sink to show y'all how the, the beans are. See, I, I got a, a bowl under this strainer. See, all I have to do is lift it out. Y'all can look in there. You know, some people soak their beans and they say that makes them cook quicker. But since I'm, I'm using a crock pot, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to put everything in the crock pot. I'm going to put my beans in there. I'm going to add my, my ham hocks. You can put one or two. I'm going to put two in mine. I'm going to add my vegetables in here. Here I'm adding my water. You add enough water in here to cover. It all depends on how much broth you want. I want enough in there. Put it on top of my cornbread, right? Okay, well, y'all, this is it, y'all. This is all you do. You do not add any seasoning or anything right now. Sometime I would add a little salt and sugar or something to them, but not right now. I got it on high, and I'm gonna put my lid on here. I'm gonna close it down. Okay, y'all. Uh, it has been like three hours, and I'm gonna show y'all something. I usually. Uh, check them like every hour but this time I didn't but this is what you do just add some hot water to your to your beans and this here should get them done my mother always told me do not stir them I am not going to stir them I'm just going to close it back up and I'm going to be back okay here is my beans they have finally finished y'all this took actually all day. Now, if you have a job and you want to uh, start these beans before you leave to go to work, they should be ready when you get back. But like I say, another thing, y'all, some beans, it doesn't take that long, and then there are some that does. So you just have to keep checking on them to make sure and see if they're ready. Okay, I'm going to add some salt. Use this. Okay. Let me taste them. Like my mother, she used to put salt in them and then she would put a little sugar in them. Here I'm adding some sugar. Y'all do not have to put as much as I put in mine. Put maybe two or three tablespoons in, or you don't have to put any at all. I'm finished with the beans and I'm going, going right to back. plate up my beans. You hear my beans? You see that ham hock in there? Okay. Put it on there. Got some rice here. Here's my beans and rice. Put a little of that bean juice on there. And I also have some hot water cornbread. 
For those who hadn't seen my video, you go look up the hot water cornbread. Yes. So I just decided to share this little short video with y'all and I hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all enjoy. And I'm gonna say, y'all have a blessed day and bye-bye for now.